Okay, fifth graders, first important thing to do today is get your name on it because there's not a line up here, so sometimes kids forget. Get your name on it, and then up here it says write each fraction as a decimal. Three tenths can be written as three tenths, seven tenths can be written as 0 0.07, also seven tenths. One half, we've practiced quite a bit, is 0.5. One fifth, this is the one you're probably doing it mentally where you multiply by two over two and you get two tenths, which can be written as 0.2. And then two and three fifths, it's a little bit trickier. What we're gonna do is we're gonna multiply our denominator by our whole number and add the numerator. We've done this, but it's been a couple of weeks, you may have forgotten. So five times two is 10, plus three is 13. So this becomes 13 fifths. And then we need to change that and this is just one way, there are a couple ways. Then we could change this by multiplying it by two over two, and you would get 26 tenths, which could be written as 2.6. And if somebody at home showed you a different way, that's just fine, there are a couple different ways to do it. You could have left your whole number and just changed fraction as well. Uh, two and one tenth, uh, write it as two and one tenth. Then we get to find our answers over here. We'll do that later if we have time. This is the part that's most important to me. Um, write each decimal as a lowest reaction, or, uh, lowest fraction or mixed number. This one we're gonna change it to seven tenths. This one we're gonna change it to three and five tenths. This one we could change it to eight and nine tenths. These are all mixed numbers today. Um, and it did ask us to reduce, five tenths cannot be, oh yes, five tenths can be reduced to one half, so that one is actually three and one half. Seven tenths cannot be reduced, and neither can nine tenths. This one would be four tenths, which could be reduced if we divided them both by two over two. It would then be two fifths, which is probably our answer that we're looking for. So if you wanted to do the puzzle, you would find eight, and you would write eight because that's an eight there and write a T in it, because that's T. Um, but again, we're just gonna keep going on. This one has a mixed number, eight and two tenths, which could be reduced if you divided them both by two, two eight and one fifth. Three and eight tenths, if you divided them both by two, would be three and four fifths. Um, next one is asking us to write each fraction as a decimal. This time it's in the hundredths place. Let's see if I can cover up some of this so I don't get, we don't get confused here. Uh, this one as a decimal would be 0.43. Uh, this one as a decimal, now remember we want our seven in the hundredths place, so you need to put a zero as a placeholder so seven gets in the hundredths, not the tenths. This one is the same as 0.25, one we've been practicing quite a bit. This one, we haven't practiced a whole lot, but if we multiply it by four over four, this will be 100, nine times four would be 36, and then we can change it to 0.36 or 36 hundredths. This one, we're gonna multiply it by two over two, and we would get um, 26 hundredths which can be written as 0.26 on that one. This one is kind of an opposite of one we've done a quite a bit. Multiply it by five over five, so we get 20 times five is 100. 17 times five is 85, so that can be written as 0.85 or 85 hundredths. This one, I'm gonna keep the whole number, but I'm gonna multiply it by four over four again. So I get over 100. Six times four is 24, carry the two, so it must be 64, so 0.64. I'm just gonna double check that one quick. And make sure it's an answer over here, 64, yep, five and 64 hundredths, I just forgot the whole number, and there it is. So 19 would be another T if you were doing this. And again, you don't have to solve the puzzle unless you choose to. I was just checking to make sure I did my math right there. Uh, this one, being it's three-fourths, oh, I don't, I could do the multiplying, but I already know what three-fourths is. So this is the same as 5.75 on that one, and we can find that right here. Number 20 will be B. 
Okay, and now we're getting to the bottom here. Write each decimal in lowest terms, fraction or mixed number, so we're going to change this one to 67 hundredths. See if we can find one over here that says 67 hundredths. There it is, it's already blacked out, or it means you black that one out. So find number 21. We're sort of doing this puzzle, but I'll leave a lot of it up to you. 21, you're going to just black it out. Must mean there's a little space in there. Uh, this one, we can write it as 9 hundredths, not tenths, because it's in the hundredths place. This one is the same as 1 fourth, 62 hundredths, which could be reduced. Um, let's see, I'm going to just divide it by 2 to start with and get 31 fiftieths. Is there an option over here for that one? Yep, there it is. It's another blacked out one. So 24 will be a blacked out one again. Alright, moving on. So I don't run out of time. 4 and 35 over 100, which will need to be reduced. Divide them both by 5 over 5. And you would get 7. Um, let's see. Why my brain's not working? Hang on. 7 20th. So we should be able to find 4 and 7 20th over here. I hope if I did it right. Hmm, I see an 11 20th. Interesting. Oh, there it is. 4 and 7 20th is a W. So, yep, we've got that one. This one, we'll change it to 9 and 75 hundredths, which is the same as 9 and 3 fourths. Here we've got 4 and 48 hundredths, which needs to be reduced. And we can divide them both by 2 to start with. We get over 50. Get 24 fiftieths, and I bet we could reduce it again. I'll come back to that in a minute. Really, this is not a bad answer for, for what we're doing in fifth grade. You would be just fine with that answer, but if you're looking for it over here, you need to keep reducing. And this one would be nine and six hundredths because it is in the hundredths place. And again, this is a fine answer. If you're looking for it on the puzzle, you'll need to reduce it. Divide them both by two over two and you would get 9 and 3 fiftieths. Let's see if we can find 9 and 3 fiftieths. That's kind of a funny number. There it is, 9 and 3 fiftieths. So 28 would be a K. We can go back and do these now if we have time until I run out. 9 and 3 fiftieths. That was 28 is a K. Okay, 7, 27, we could reduce this again and get 12, I'm running out of room, 12 twenty fifths. So 4 and 12 twenty fifths we've got right there, that's an R, 27 is R. We'll find out what our message is if we keep going. Um, 26 is 9 and 3 fourths. 26 is F. Twenty-five is 4 and 7 twentieths. There it is, is a W. So 25 is a W. 23 is 1 fourth. 23 is D. 22 is 9 hundredths, so 22 is E. 23. Okay, we got them all at the bottom. And fifth graders, I'm going to stop there and I'm going to let you finish up the puzzle. Thanks for working with me today.